everybody. It's Michelle and I've got a quick little bead charm for you guys today that is just so adorable. We're going to be doing an eggplant bead charm and I think it's so cute. You guys know that I love to do fruits and vegetables in my bead charms anyway. And I have to give credit for this idea to my daughter-in-law. She sent me a picture of one that she had done and she said that I could do one in a video and I'm so excited about it. So my main bead here is a dark purple teardrop bead. And you guys saw me use this same kind of bead once before in my mermaid tail bead charms. And I thought they were so cute. I just love those. And I actually wanted a purple mermaid tail, but I didn't have any purple in the mix that I had at that time. But I always did love these beads with that shiny sort of almost glowing type of finish on it. When you see these in person, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's just a beautiful sort of glow. And here's one that I did ahead of time already with a lighter purple. And you know that eggplants come in a few different colors. They even come in a white color, which is also included in the mix that I got this time around. And you can see I've got some more of the dark purples, light purples, oranges, and even browns. This brown sort of color would have really been good for my turkey leg bead charm that I did for Thanksgiving a while back. So lots and lots of ideas. There are some orange ones that would have been great for my carrot bead charms. So many ideas can come from this packet. I will leave you guys the link to where I got mine that had plenty of purples in the mix. And then I've got five by seven millimeter bellflower beads in green. And that's sort of an olivey green a little bit and it's very tiny and it just fits my eggplant perfectly. And then for a little stem, which you don't have to add, I just kind of wanted to add a stem on mine. I'm just using a little bugle bead in the same kind of green. And these are readily available. I got mine from a pack that came from Dollar Tree and it's just one of these up here and it's got some shorter bugle beads there, longer ones, seed beads all in a different green kind of mix and you can get these in different colorways at Dollar Tree. So that is the three beads that we need and then I've got a two inch head pin and a lobster clasp and of course if you don't want to make your own jump ring bring in a jump ring but I'll be making mine from my excess that I cut away from my head pin. So it goes together super simple and quick. You just put on your teardrop bead with the pointed end going upward. Then you put your bellflower bead also with the pointed end going upward and then your little bugle bead. Or you could use a seed bead if you don't have a little bugle bead. Just a tiny little something to represent the stem there. And then I'm going to hold everything firmly down and bend my head pin over. I want to make sure not to bend my stem, which you could bend the stem if you wanted to. You guys have seen me do that in a few different ones with fruits and vegetables and things like that. Kind of gives it a little more of a natural look sometimes. I think it's really cute. So that's up to you. You can put a little bend in it if you want to. I did that with my little mushroom bead charms and I thought it was so cute. It just made the charm having that little bend. And then I'm going to cut that down to maybe just a little more than a quarter of an inch. Lay my excess aside because that's going to be my jump ring. I'm going to roll this into a loop with my round nose pliers. And then create our jump ring. And I just kind of randomly, I don't worry about measurement of my jump rings, I just kind of pick a spot along the shaft of my round nose pliers that is about the size that I think I want my jump ring to be. And I just go with that by eyeballing it. And then clip that off right where they come around and meet. And then I'm going to take my chain nose pliers. 
curved or straight, either way you want to do it. Just open that jump ring up, dangle on our eggplant, and then our lobster clasp, and close that back up. And that is all there is to it. That's your little eggplant charm, and I think it's so cute. I think I will give a little bit of a crook to that, just for a little bit of a natural look. I think that's adorable. And soon I'm going to have me a whole garden of bead charms. I think these are so cute. And like I said, I love to do fruits and vegetables in bead charms. So you guys leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my eggplant bead charms. I think they're so cute. I had a lot of fun with these. And thanks again to my daughter-in-law for the idea. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Also, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.